And God said, Behold, I have given you every herb bearing seed. To you it shall be for food. Genesis 1.29 Man did eat angels' food. He sent them meat to the full. Psalm 78, 25. Everyday Manna with Lisa. Hi, everybody, and welcome to Everyday Manna. Today, we are going to be making pizza. And we're going to be making quick pizza or should I say pizzas, because we, I'm going to show you some different ways to make either a full meal or a snack. You know, sometimes you just want a little bite of something to eat. And I want to show you just four very different, very easy, and very quick pizzas to make using different kinds of bread. And we're going to start actually with my favorite. I love pizza margarita, and it's named for Queen Margarita, and it could not be simpler. The ingredients are easy and quick and delicious. And I'm going to start with the pre-made bought pizza crusts that you get in the aisle where the spaghetti sauce and the uh, pizza kits and that kind of thing are. The pastas, it'll be in there somewhere. And these are just the little mini ones, but you can get them in different sizes. And this package had three. And I've just laid them out on a lined baking sheet, and I have my oven preheated to 425 degrees. Now, this pizza, the way I do it, in the cheese case, you'll find whole mozzarella. And for this pizza, traditionally, you really do need the, the sliced mozzarella. And it, this particular um, cheese is very soft and very delicious. And I'm going to slice some of the fresh mozzarella. This does not have pizza sauce. And I'm going to put three slices of cheese per pizza. It doesn't have the traditional pizza sauce on it, but it's my favorite. I love it, absolutely love it, and I love this fresh mozzarella. If you've never had this, it's really delicious. If you don't have this, you can use the shredded mozzarella. It, it, it's not the same. I'm not going to say it is because it isn't. It does taste a little different, but you can use it in a pinch. tuck this in there because we don't want to waste it. And I've just got three pieces of cheese per pizza, as you can see here. Now, I'm going to go ahead and put it, well, let's go ahead. And for mine, I like the Roma tomatoes because they don't have as much juice to make it soggy, and it's a meatier pizza, and or, I'm a tomato, excuse me, and I'm going to use the same knife. It's okay. I'm just going to slice these tomatoes, and this takes the place of the traditional tomato sauce. And I'm just going to lay the slices of the tomato on the pizza as much as you like. It's going to roast in the oven. You're not going to be eating raw tomato. It's so good. This pizza is just, it's my favorite. And I make it in the summertime quite a bit when I can get fresh tomatoes and spread that out just a little bit, and fresh basil, which is the ingredient that's coming next. I'm going to go ahead and cut that core out of these tomatoes. You can use little cherry tomatoes if you want. You can use any kind of tomato that you like. I just prefer the Roma for this. But you use whatever you have. And I'm just laying these out. This is just a great way to get a little snack in. Now, I am going to add some freshly ground pepper, which is not traditional, but I like it. 
just a little bit over each one, and some salt. And I like to put the salt over the tomatoes. I use kosher salt always. I don't specify kosher, but that's what I do use. Because it's got bigger crystals, it's easier to control. And I find sometimes regular table salt, to me, has an aftertaste, has a chemical aftertaste, where this does not. And you will need some fresh basil, which I picked this morning. And if you want to pick it ahead, a good tip is to just dampen a paper towel and wrap it in the paper towel. I'm going to pick off some of these leaves. You can buy this too in the, in the grocery stores. If you have an herb garden, it's easy to grow. I love, mm, if you've never had fresh basil, let me just tell you, you're missing something. It's really good. I'm going to take a few of these leaves. I'm going to, you can either just lay them whole, but I find that's a little more difficult to eat. So I like to just take some, roll it up, and then just slice it into little strips. It's a strong herb, so you won't need much per pizza. That's probably more than enough. Spread it out to where every little bite is going to have some of the herb. Let's put just a tiny bit more on that one. So just get some leaves and slice them. And you're just going to roast this in the oven for mm, 10 minutes, maybe, until those tomatoes soften, the cheese melts, and the basil will wilt. Now, you can bake this ahead and then add your basil, but I like the, the basil to kind of melt into the tomatoes and the cheese. One more little, let's find a little leaf. Just tear him which you can tear. Now, let's just get those in the oven, and that's it. That's a quick, easy pizza margarita that is out of this world. Now, I used just the traditional little pizza crust, the pre-made. You, of course, could make your own crust if you wanted to, or you could use any of the other breads that we're going to use. With all of the recipes that I'm doing today, feel free to mix and match the breads with whatever you want. I'm going to take a quick break, just wipe up my board, and when I come back, we're going to make some other pizzas. I'll be back in just a second. Alrighty, now, I forgot to tell you, and I just, just did it, before you put those pizza margaritas in the oven, drizzle it with just a little bit of olive oil. So I just took a little bit of extra virgin olive oil and just lightly drizzled, probably a teaspoon, maybe not even that, per pizza. Now we're going to start on another pizza, and this one is a non-traditional pizza, and we're going to use pita bread. Now pita bread, all of these breads are easily found in the everyday grocery stores. This is pita bread, and it, it, it's like a pocket um, here, okay? You can either do that, or you can do what I'm going to do, which is cut it in half. And I'm just taking a serrated knife carefully, and I'm just cutting this in half. And if it, you know, you get a little hole in it, it's okay. It's not a big deal. And I'm laying it out on a lined baking sheet again. And so I've used two pitas, and I'm just going to, um, you could do as many as you wanted. Or you can for this particular one. If you wanted to cut the slit a little deeper and leave it whole and make like a little pizza pocket, you can do that. But I want to do all open face, but you can do this one either way. Now for this one, we're going to use a roasted red pepper and or a roasted sun-dried tomato pesto. 
find it right beside the grocery, in the uh, grocery aisle, right beside the spaghetti sauce. Usually on the top shelf, you will see sun-dried tomato pesto, basil pesto, which we're gonna use in a few minutes. This particular one is sun-dried tomatoes, but you can get roasted red pepper. You can even get eggplant spread. You can, it, it's, and it, I mean, you could use bruschetta spread. You could use really whatever you wanted to here. I'm just using this because it complements the flavors that we're gonna be adding here in just a second. I need a little more from my jar. They're gonna get that for me. And I'll show you what it looks like. It just comes in a jar, just like, uh, this one's the pizza sauce, I need the other one. Is it over there? Yeah, the little one. Hold on just a second. This is the, uh, it comes in a little jar just like this. Mine is Barilla, by the way. They're not sponsoring this, I just, that's what I bought. Okay, now, well, I might as well just use that up, so. Because there's just a tiny bit in there, so let's just go ahead and empty that jar. That works for me. You could use, if you don't have this, you could use just sun-dried tomatoes would be fine, julienne, which we're going to use on another pizza. Now, for this one, we're going to make a ham and cheese pizza. And I just have some deli sliced ham, and you could just lay it over if you wanted to, or you could slice it like I'm gonna. Now this is processed, so I don't mind putting it on my board. This is black forest ham. I think I'll cut that in half this way. You could use any kind of ham you like. Whatever you like is fine. I'm just trying to give you ideas here of different little snacks. I know, you know, as most of you know, I'm a mother to two teenage boys. Well, let me tell you, when they get home from school, they're starving, as I'm sure your children are. And, you know, it's still a while before supper, so they want a snack. So this is something that they can throw together, if I keep the ingredients on hand, which I do for some things, and they can just... Mine are big enough now, they can do it on their own, but maybe if yours aren't, this is a quick something you could throw together for your children or yourself. And you know, honestly, you could serve this for dinners. Add a green salad, and there you go. You've got dinner done. And it's so easy. And this is delicious. And because, you know, Swiss cheese goes so well with ham, that's what we're going to use. We're going to use some just deli-sliced Swiss cheese, and I'll put this back in a bag and have that on a salad. I've got some just Swiss cheese here. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just going to cut it into strips. Now, I'm not going to add salt on this one because the ham is a little, you know, saltier, and the... Um, Pesto has salt in it, so I don't need to add salt, but I am going to add some freshly ground pepper. These are just going to go straight in the oven, just like the other ones. You don't, if you don't like Swiss cheese, you could use Gruyere, you could use Fontina, white cheddar, you could use whatever kind of cheese you like. I just think ham and Swiss just go together really beautifully. Gouda would be really good on this. Uh, the manchego cheese, the Spanish manchego cheese would also be delicious on this. But Swiss is a little easier to find, so that's what we're going to use. And that's it. I'm going to put a little cracked pepper on there. Just like that, no salt. I am going to drizzle it with just a tiny bit of olive oil, as you can see. What that helps to do is crisp up the breads. <clears throat> and this is going to go in the oven 
just right alongside our pizza margarita. Oh, we can see that too. That needs about two or three more minutes and that will be done. So I'm just gonna quickly clean up here and when I come back, we've got two more to make. I'll be back. All right, now both of our pizzas are baking. Our pizza margarita is almost done, so let's get one more ready to go in and we'll take that one out. For this one, I'm just using regular tortillas. Now these are whole wheat tortillas that you can buy in you know, any grocery store. They come in a myriad of flavors. You choose what you like. This is just the, gonna be the traditional, little quick, easy pizza, because there are some People out there that just want the traditional pizza, hey, nothing wrong with it. That's my second favorite. I just like pepperoni pizza. So I'm going to spread just some jarred pizza sauce. These are all things that you can have in your pantry and make at a moment's notice. This is just jarred prepared sauce and tortillas. Tortillas are so versatile. You can do wraps, you can do sopapillas, you of course can do tacos and tortillas and burritos and all that kind of stuff. But you can also make some pizzas with it and it's really good. And this is a good for those of you out there who need to watch your carbs. There are a lot of tortillas that you can buy that are very, very, very carb friendly. And instead of having the traditional pizza crust, which is not so carb friendly, this is a great alternative for you to have a, you know, a pizza that you can eat, and it's really good. Now, I am going to add a little bit of pepper down there. I really like pepper, in case you didn't know that. My dad, when he was living, would, when he was watching, he would always tell, Mom told me Dad would always say, Boy, she likes that pepper. <laughs> I do. I really do. Now, I'm just going to have the traditional pepperoni on this one. You could use turkey pepperoni if you wanted to. If you want just cheese, you could skip the pepperoni and just add the cheese. And I like pepperoni on mine. And my kids do, and my husband does. We all like pepperoni pizza. And this is a whole lot easier, a whole lot faster and cheaper than ordering and having it delivered. Nothing wrong with that. We do that sometimes, but this is a lot easier and quicker. And I'll scoot you over so I can fit one more in there. All right, now, if you wanted to top it with some garlic or oregano or anything like that, you could, that'd be fine. I'm not, but you could. I'm going to add just a tiny bit of salt. Not much, just a little. Doesn't need much. And then I'm just going to top it with shredded mozzarella cheese. Just traditional purchased shredded mozzarella. If you have uh, the uh, <clears throat> whole mozzarella like we just had on the first one, you could use that too. Now, the reason I put the lining on my baking sheets is cheese melts. And it gets messy. And it's hard to scrub if you don't have some kind of a non-stick surface. You put as much or as little cheese as you want. If you wanted to add some Parmesan, you could. If you wanted to add some provolone, you could. Those are all traditional melting cheeses for pizzas. Now, let's get our pizza margarita out and put the traditional one in. Oh, oh my goodness. Let's set this here for just a second, and let's put this one in. And when our next one is ready, the other one will be ready to go out. Now, look at that beautiful pizza. I'm going to let that cool for just a second. You see how it's just the cheese has melted. The tomatoes are, you know, semi-roasted. The basil just kind of wilted into it. 
It's my favorite. I absolutely love that pizza. Now, we're going to let that cool for just a minute. For the next one, we are going, <clears throat> pardon me, my allergies are flaring and my throat is strange this morning. We're going to be using what's called non bread, N-A-A-N. This is a, um, a Middle Eastern bread that you can find in any, you know, the Usually in like the specialty bread case is where you're going to find this. So I wanted to show you that you can use the non bread, N-A-A-N. And for this one, I'm going to put a little bit of mascarpone down, which is an Italian cream cheese. If you don't have mascarpone, you could use regular traditional cream cheese, but the, the mascarpone really is good, very good. Don't need much. It's got a little tang to it. It's wonderful. I'm just going to put a little bit of this on each one. And spread it out. It's a little more um, crumbly than traditional cream cheese. A little drier. Delicious. But you know, you really look at your cheese case at your grocery store. You could put the garlic herb cream cheese. You could put the um, goat cheese. You could use any kind of cheese you wanted. We just want a little bit of a base of cheese there. Just a little bit, not, not too awful much. Now, on top of that, I'm going to add some purchased basil, just the traditional basil, not too much of this because it is a very potent blend. I love it. It's got garlic, basil, uh, Parmesan cheese, usually pine nuts, and olive oil, and it's wonderful over fresh pasta, mm, hot pasta. It's really good. In the summertime, when I have a lot of basil, sometimes I'll make this myself at home. It's very easy to make and freeze it, and then I've got fresh basil all winter long. Then we're going to do a what's called prosciutto, which is an Italian ham. It's really good. It's so delicious. It's very thin. Prosciutto di Parma is only made in one particular place in Italy, which I'd love to go visit and see how they make it. But you can find it now in, you know, in the in grocery stores. It, it's really easy to find. If you don't have this, you could use just any thinly sliced. Country ham actually would be a very good substitute for this because it's salty, and country ham is salty, and that's really kind of what you want. I'm just cutting it into chunks here. I'm just going to lay some of it over the, uh, the pesto. You don't want too much of this because it is salty, and it's very rich in its flavor. It's delicious crisped up in a skillet and added to um, a salad is really good too. It's just a, oh, a cured ham product. It's delicious. And again, if you don't have it, you could just substitute country ham, thinly sliced country ham. I think that's enough. Save that for a salad too. And then to go on top of this one, we are going to use just jarred roasted peppers. If you have fresh peppers, you by all means, feel free to put your fresh peppers. Let me move that up here a little bit. Just some roasted red peppers on there. And we're going to put this in the oven and bake it for just a few minutes. None of these need to bake very long because the ingredients are already cooked. The prosciutto's cooked. 
It's, you know, it's cured. It's just like ham. And I just buy the jarred roasted red peppers. I like them. If I have a lot of red peppers out of the garden, then, you know, just put them under a broiler for a few minutes till they turn black and then put them, seal them in a bag and um, let the steam kind of loosen the skin and then take them out. I don't need, I'm going to add just a tiny bit. Now that pesto has got oil in it, so you don't want to put too much, but I do want that prosciutto to kind of crisp up, so we're going to get these in the oven. Now, all of our pizzas are done, so let's do a quick little recap. Here I've got just the traditional pepperoni and mozzarella on a tortilla shell. So that's a low-carb option for all of you out there who want to watch your carbs. Find the carb-friendly tortillas. I found them, I use them, I eat them. So that's a quick, easy, um, you know, low-carb option but it's just plain delicious. And you really could use, you can mix and match these breads however you want to. This is just the combination that I chose. On this one, we've got our non bread with our basil uh, pesto, our wonderful mascarpone cheese, roasted red peppers, and prosciutto. And then over here, we've got our pita bread with our uh, sun-dried tomato pesto and ham and Swiss cheese, and then my personal favorite, the pizza margarita, just using traditional little pre-baked pizza crust with whole mozzarella cheese sliced, Roma tomatoes, and fresh basil. These are just some quick, easy meals. Add a salad alongside of any of these, and you have a whole meal, or just a quick and easy snack anytime, day or night. Thank you for joining with me, and I will see you next time on Everyday Mana. Thank you for watching Everyday Mana with Lisa. This program is made possible by viewers like you. Your support is continually needed to keep Christian programming on the air. Please send your best financial gift to Living Faith Television in care of Everyday Mana, P.O. Box 1867, Abingdon, Virginia, 24212.